What's up, my Sigma Sauruses? Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game! No cap, best game ever. Riz, Sigma, Lord, let's go. Uh, <laughs> we'll stop that though. <laughs> I think it was in my Pilgrim video. The first thing I said was Sigma. I feel like our uh, characters right now represent us pretty well. Like all of us. <laughs> that, was, that was very skibbity of you. That sounded, that sounded like. That was very skibbity. skibbity <laughs> Sigma male. And everyone's like, oh my god! All the comments were just brain rot, brain rot, brain rot. <laughs> so that's for you. That's for you guys. Okay. Just just for you. My, my gift to you for today. Hope you like it. So today, we are looking at Jurassic World the game. There has been another change that just came out of nowhere. And they're like, oh yeah, whether I noticed it in the last video or not, I'm not too sure. But it's kind of a big deal. So at the moment... I'll, my honest opinion is nothing's happening in Jurassic World the game, but that doesn't mean nothing's go coming in the pipeline. Uh, I was gonna say another Skibbity Riz thing there. Guma. Is it Guma? I don't, I don't know. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, at the moment, it, it seems really quiet. Like, if we, you've got like the occasional tournament thing going on, but apart from that, eh? I mean, this is Sinsatosaurus, which I think I've already got. So I think I've already got that unlocked. The, the things that are changing at the moment now, I have found images online that show dinosaurs that are coming, but haven't been released yet. And that's a good way to know that, you know, there's, there's still things coming and what to possibly get maxed up as well. Because before you know it, new best thing comes along and you just don't have it maxed up. I'll have a check to see if I have it. Yes, yes, I do. So I'll put it up here as well. So dinosaurs that are coming, we've got red, we've got Diabloceratops, we've got Euxiosaurus, we've got the Skeldiosaurus, we've got Homalocephaly, coming straight from Jurassic World Alive, I think it is, which was also in Jurassic Primal Ops. You remember that game? That's dead. But the, really the biggest ones that we're going to be looking forward to is the Caprodactylus and the Spinoceratops. Now, what's interesting about those is I think I took a picture of their health and attack and stats and and stuff, and I think the Spinoceratops was the better out of the both. Like, for... I think both have about 3,900 attack, 3,600 attack, but the Spinoceratops is just a bit more worth it, because you get 300 attack rather than an extra 1,000 health, or 2,000 health, and I think the 300 attack will stack up. But Caprodactylus will definitely be the Amphibia. It'll be the Caprosuchus Gen 2. And this thing, I think, already has a hybrid. Oh, no, it doesn't! That's good. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that at Gen 2. If I see a bloody creature ask for this at level 40, I swear down. But yeah, I, I no doubt we'll be able to get something like that pretty easy. And the Spinoceratops, I'm assuming, will be Spinosaur Gen 2. And... I don't know, tri some sort of Triceratops. I'm not exactly too sure which one. But we'll open a card pack, because why not? <laughs> Gotta open a card pack. So, biggest things happening in the game right now are the creatures in the trade harbors. I think I have... I've got three hatches and I've got two speed-ups. We'll take that as well. Anything? Yeah, so this is it. So I can get Welcome to Jurassic World, which is bull rubbish. I mean, maybe unless Parasaur is one that's now you can't get unless it's an amber market, then maybe. But here we go. We've got the Seymorosaurus. Or Seymoria. Mines of Moria. Mosasaur 30. Uh, I think the only one that I might be trading in that's too much. We'll have a look. Let's see if I click ready. So... Is there anything here? It's saying ready to complete. So 40, 40, 40, 30, 30. 40, 40, 40, 30, 30. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. Usually, if there's one that's a bit too high, then it'll be like, whoa, slow down. But no. So there we go. A new creature that hasn't been released, I don't think, anywhere else apart from this harbor. So there it is, the same Moria. Uh, we speed it up for 250 straight away. And it's probably a waste, but at least we get to see. Uh, Simoria is a type of Simoria morph. Can you say more? <laughs> anyway, a uh, small bird of widespread terrestrial and semi-aquatic tetrapods. Simoria is technically an amphibian, but is well adapted to life on land. Like modern frogs, Simoria may have the larval tadpole stage. And today's... Today! You know, if you see, Simoria goes... It goes you know, collects crypto and plays Fortnite. Uh, is considered an important creature in the transition from ancient to modern reptiles. Okay, he's got to get spiky. Get a spiky hairdo. Now, at the moment, no point really to max that thing up because we've got timers all the time uh, to get new creatures. 
And we've we've had this thing in the game at the moment where they've been trying to get us to spend all of our books as possible, as much as possible. Now, if we look at the hatchery. Normally, you if you get the, the, the VIP pass or whatever, the season pass, you get an extra incubator. But then it would be, I think, 10, 25, and 50. So you could get another three incubators. However, they've increased that. So now, with I mean, without that, you have one, two, three, four, five, six incubators, which... I think 50 was the max you could do before. Now it's 75 and 100. I'm okay with this. This is what I want to see. Give us reasons to spend our bucks, right? Don't give us stuff that we... You know, or, or take it away. If you're taking away bucks, you're not giving anyone back. Like, you're not giving anything to them. However, give us more ways that make us want to spend our bucks. That are worth it. And especially now, when we have this, like, massive harbor, throwing all of my uh, creatures away. That is, I would hatch, I would just stick them in the hatchery. Once they're hatched, get rid of it. Don't need it, just toss that one. However, now I might not do that because, you know, we can unlock Panthera, we can unlock Bajadasaurus, and the creatures I need for those. Oh, interesting. I mean, a Cryolophosaurus I've got, we've got level 40 uh, Unicorn Wizard. We need 40 Spinosaur, 40 Rajasaur, and 30 Cryolophosaurus. Hopefully they don't keep repeating these because I'm going to have to start double checking whether I've got them unlocked or not. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't know. I might accidentally waste creatures when I don't really need to. Uh, and at the moment, that's 16 days, 23 days. So I don't need to worry about that. Monkey Dacless is the one I've been working towards so far. And as you can see, I think that's the first level 20 I've ever gotten of the Pliosaur. So we've never got this thing maxed up. The only problem... Oh, 3 to 5. This is going to be good. The only problem with this is that... Now we're torn between, you know, keeping a level 40 or even level 30. Because if you get a level 40, you're stuck with a hard decision. Do you sell the level 40 or trade in the level 40, which is basically two level 30s just for the sake of saving bucks and DNA? Or do you then hatch another one? Do you, do you hatch another four? Depending on if you've got the instant hatchery, then I guess it's kind of a no-brainer. You would probably want to do that, but you might want to save your instant hatches for something else. So there's starting to be a lot more, I don't know what I would call them, maybe meta mini, like it's not meta, like a meta would be like PvP and what's the best dinosaurs and stuff. And because this has no PvP, there's no meta. But I guess the, the meta is resource management. That's what this game is now. It's a resource management game. <laughs> Well, that was good. Good, good, good. Love to see some juicy DNA. So where are we now? We're on 7,000. I think we've got some instant hatches for Charlie, so we may as well... Well, I think I have an instant hatch for Charlie. Do we not? We may not. We may not have an instant hatch for Charlie. There's, an, there's a Charlie hiding behind this one, however. So I have actually noticed an uptick in the trade harbor. Oh, there you go. Whoop. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, we got two Charlies. Interesting. We've got two Charlies in general in the park because we've got these ones. Remember these guys? They just went and then went, bam, put it in. <laughs> You've got it in your enclosure now. I thought it was a good idea to put this, but honestly, now it's not used. I think they need to rework the whole reserves and stuff because I, I, there's no point for me to do battles. Give me a reason to, and, and give me good rewards, right? Because I'm already doing everything else. So make it worth my while. 50 bucks is not going to cut it. I'm not going to do boosted battles for 50 bucks. Maybe not even 100. 200, however, and if it's every day, might have to. Might have to consider that because 200 bucks is good. Le you know, leave leave this for your whales. You know, your 200 ah, pound. Jesus, that's like $250 for 42,000. I've almost got 200 pound uh, approximately books in this game. So that's very interesting. Uh, according to the, the trade. <laughs> so we've got that new creature. We're starting to work, work towards this guy. So I have at level 20, another level 20. And then I've... Wait, what? I think I've made too many. That's a level 30. And then one... Oh, no! No, it's actually okay. So they've got two days. And then I've got I've got another three incubators. So we'll have a look to see if there's anything else. Like the Dacosaur. So I need another four of those. And... Mm, I could just already get a level 40 for 9,000 bucks. You know, the 65% off is a load of rubbish. The, the, it'll always be this much percent off because they know you click on it. And again, this game, a bit slimy when it wants you to spend your bucks. So don't look at it and go, ooh, sale, because that's what they want you to do. If, if they knew you would click on it 
more without the sale, they would do it. It would be like, no, 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 there's no sale, there's no sale. But because, you know, it's the way we're, we're programmed. So I have instant hatches, but I don't think there's any point in me doing that. So 90 bucks to speed that up is... <sighs> the only time... Because putting them in, I've got three more, but it's going to cost me more. It's going to cost me more just putting them in and then getting them later than just instant hatching, uh, hatching them. So I may as well at the moment... I mean, how many days do I have, actually? I've got quite a few days. I think it's nine days. Yeah, I don't need to worry about it. I'm okay. I'll not speed them up. That's good. Titanobo, you need three Onkapristis. That's two level 40s. That's ridiculous. The Panther, though, that, however, I will put in the incubator. So we get really good offer here. So we'll activate that. We'll get you. Uh, we'll go back. What's this one? Is this good? No, Owen. You, you can get that one, Owen. Be a good boy. Help Mumsy out. Sorry, not that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted more of these cryolophers because I only need four of these. Oh, yes. Activate for 75. Heck, yes. Anything good, Owen? Oh, is it nothing like... Owen, come on now. Come on, Owen. I and you're a, you're a big boy. You don't need me to, to capture these dinosaurs for you. And then finally, an activation. So they're going to take six days. And this is the next one. This is Panthera. I don't even think I have Panther. Let's have a quick check. If I do have Panther, I might not have it unlocked. Be good if these are alphabetical. Make it easier for me to see. Rather than uh, rarity. Oh, it's DNA cost. Oh, right. There we go. There we go. There we go. So let's put... Where are you? Panthera. You should be a tournament creature, I think. Oh, maybe you're celebrity, actually. Ghost? Ghost. There, there's Panthera. Okay, can, have I got them unlocked? I don't have it unlocked. Okay, so yes, I, I do need to do that one. I do need to do the doo doo. We've got something to collect here. I don't really know. Oh, it's just like, oh, you've got new things. I think it's talking about all these to collect, but I don't need to worry about those. So, let's have a look. Battle Stage Infinite's always good. We've got a rare pack, which is going to give us almost guaranteed 100 bucks. We may as well do that one. Have a look if there's anything in here. Usually they do some sort of uh, pack that allows you to get Charlie or the, the creature at the moment. We do have the tournament. But I'm okay. There it is. Charlie Chance. We need level 10 of that. And then it's pretty tough with the amphibian uh, in here. So we're going to jump into this one. Um, flyers, I suppose. I, you know what? I'm really good that the next two hybrids we're getting aren't carnivals. Spinoceratops, so desperately need. It's a really good herbivore. And the Caprothalasus, or whatever it is. Another really good, like 3,000 attack. Which puts it around about Dracoceratops level, which is amazing. And then the Capro Suchus is 11,000 health and three. So it's about uh, Chromospinus. So we're talking about uh, another flyer, another herbivore desperately needed in this game. Because when we come up against two amphibians and a carnivore, it's, you can't use carnivores. And I mean, look, how many how many really good carnivores? One, two, three. We've got Indoraptor, Pachygalosaurus, Udon, Chromospinus, Scorpius Rex, Cerizonosaurus. And then Earl Officer, you're starting to get a little bit weaker, but that's seven. Look at herbivores. Armor Matter, Dracoceratops, Stego, or Stegnosuchus, and then Monostegatops. You've got about four. You've got four there. And when it comes to flyers, maybe even less. Metrophodon, and already you jump down to Zalmonodon. So you've only got one really good one there. Now, I do need to use these guys. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that Zalmonodon, and then a good amphibian. And thank God we've got Orthosarepsis. Orthosarepsis. <laughs> because otherwise it would be kind of tough. We'll do that one. And then we'll do... Always finish. You know me. Always finish with Metrodon. He's my favorite flyer. <gasps> favorite best ever. Couldn't do any wrong. Uh, and I'm thinking that we go for one reserve. Because this thing can't kill me one hit. Toro could almost... Almost kill me in one hit, but not quite. There you go, look at it. Oh, fire at level 353. So we'll quickly switch out into Bog Eye Bill. <laughs> Looking different direction. It's like a chihuahua. And I mean, it could kill me if it went for three. It could have done it, but I could have had block. Right, so you can't kill me in two. And at this point, We've messed around with them so much that they've wasted at least two action points just switching. And maybe some blockages, I'm not sure, but there's, that's the fuck. Perfect, that's it, we've won. 
We have won. Orthorepsis. You did brilliant then. Now, Zalmonodon, you don't have too much attack. So we could trade 4,000 attack for 7,800. However, I think overall, maybe the stacking eventually adds up. So yeah, there you go. So now I'm going to go for four reserves, expecting at least them to waste one on switching Griper switches out for Toro. And once they do that, I'll put this in good stead. Yeah, there it is. That's great. That's great. He's got three. You can kill me in two. Doesn't even go. Does it? Does it even go for it? So one, two, three. Kills it. Factor in two. We could factor in three just to make sure we definitely killed it. But there you go. We would have wasted two extra instead of just the one extra factor in two. That, that, that's Jurassic World the game. Factor in two. Well, is it this one? Oh, no. It wasn't that one. Not Pokemon. Sorry. I, I will redo my soundboard eventually. <laughs> Just so I know where things are. Oh, oh, yeah, I could switch profile as well. So I can have loads of them. Anyway, here comes a massive seven attack from Metrophoron. Showing why it is still and has been the best creature for such a long time. I'm glad I got to redo my top ten. You know, every, every six years, I think it's worth an worth update. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. So there we go. And we got a hundred bucks. Yeah, that was lucky. And actually, the one we got of the hundred bucks was really rare. That was, what, 25% chance? If that, to get it in that one? The other two was 50%. We only got DNA. There we go. And our next, next one's also rare. Yeah, what was the chance? 25%. This one, we both got unlucky. Both times. We both... Me and you. Your are here Both got unlucky. And we got the DNA for that one. Let's have a look at the trade harbor. Aha! Jog on. That was terrible. Now, I haven't got anything good to trade. And what I have noticed is some good trades in here. I don't know if I mentioned it. Um, but this this might break my game. Usually if I if I put four things into storage really quick, the game, go, the game goes and just dies. Uh, so now that we have that, we could do the trades. Or oh, we can't even refresh. Oh, that's a shame. We may as well just trade for DNA. It's better than nothing. I think I can't. Oh, you can trade for loyalty points. Is that better? Is, is is DNA or loyalty points worth more? I think loyalty points might actually be worth more. Why haven't I been doing this for so long? Because let's have a look at it, okay? So imagine this is DNA. Forget that it's loyalty points. So for 10,000 DNA, you are guaranteed a VIP creature, as well as possibly DNA and 500 bucks. So now what does 10,000 DNA get you, you know, in, in, the, in the DNA market, because that's something I want to know now. Because 10,000 VIP points gets us that, and basically the trade for Apatosaur uh, Skeletons is way better for VIP if this is the case. But let's have a quick look to see what 10,000 gets us. Now, I do have a bunch of things that I haven't hatched yet. Mylodon, that's one of the things that I need. Level 40, yay, <laughs> for one of them. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Okay, here we go. Now, there is a price gouge at the moment. We could take this into account, but what does 10,000 get us? I mean, at at this level, what are we talking about? We're getting a tournament creature. Okay, okay. Diplocast Gen 2. I forgot I got that. Oh my god, there's so many of these guys. Okay, uh, low level hybrid. Right. Here we go. Here we go. 90,000, 70,000, so 10,000 ish. It's around about an Ankylodocus. You could get an Ankylodocus and just have that. Bear in mind, at level 40, I think it's maybe even possibly a little bit weaker than a VIP creature. Possibly. I'm not too sure. And you don't get extra resources. You don't get the 500 bucks, you, you know, the chance to get that. So actually, I've been doing this all wrong. I could have been doing this for years, I think. Trading uh, Patasol Skeletons for VIP points rather than DNA. Well, there you have it. <laughs> so yeah, but if we factor in that the the offer at the moment twenty five percent off because this often comes sometimes it's even fifty percent, I think. No, can't be fifty percent because then no, I think maybe it is because there's you know or it's very close to fifty percent because buying it and selling it you don't get anything extra. At that point, you're getting something as low as Suchiopterus, which is arguably the same as Ankylodocus. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is it the same? 3,700 health, 1,100 attack. Angelonicus, 3,300 health and 1,037 attack. So you're talking how much? How much extra health? 400 health and 100 extra attack for 7,000 DNA? You know what it would be? Top 10 worst dinosaurs in the game. Suchopterus. It's in there. Don't know if we make number one. Oh, it's definitely gonna make top 10. It's way above honorable mention. Possibly even that guy as well. But saying that, look at the difference. A thousand health. For 2,000 DNA. A thousand health and 30 attack? But at least a thousand health there. What about Kona Suchis? <sighs> I mean, it is 20,000, but then again... Uh, yeah, okay, these are all kind of terrible. <laughs> okay, so I've learned my lesson there. Trading now, always VIP points. Way, way, way more worth it. And of course, those that DNA and, and books can be put towards speeding up creatures, can be put towards buying creatures for this. So all in all, very good. Now, I need to look. Did I do it all here? Did I do the... I think I was probably one cryo away. Yes, yeah, so we need one more. 4,000... Oh. Huh. Interesting. I only have an instant hatch with that one. Hmm. You know, it's a tournament creature. I'll spend the instant... Like, that's a good use of an instant hatch, is tournament creatures. Because they are seven days, I think. So we filled up everything. Two cryos, three pile of suchuses, and then a, a day... Day, 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 Kosor. So let's have a look. At the moment, we've got for one day... Is it one day for that one? How do I, uh, creation Lab speed up 30% off. Land Dinosaurs 25% off in market. Just Land Dinosaurs. So if I was to go into the creation... Oh, I've got nothing in here! <gasps> Surely I've got something that needs... Yes. Okay. So I've got some instant fuses. I could. You know what? I will. Because I think I've only got one day or two days left. On these guys. So there we go, there's a level 20. And I don't mind using an instant fuse to make a level 30, especially in Legendary. I had the game take the bloody mick or, or Michael or whatever you want to call it, the English slag, uh, out of me the other day when it, it was just, it was literally just a super out. It was every time. I was speeding it up because I needed it. And it was just, I think I did it 10 times. And I just traded a, what was it? A, a Padasaur skeleton for 300 bucks. And I was just seeing my 300 books go every day. It was like 30, 30, 30, 30. I was like... What? <laughs> anyway, there we go. And some extra books as well. That's good. And I got the Plesiosaurs. The Plesiosaur... Oh, sorry. Ply... Pliosaur. Uh, Pliosaurus has a massive head and jaws. A stocky body and short neck. That's why it's got to be the next Jurassic World movie. Jurassic World Rebirth. Attacks a yacht. Ah! Okay. Now... We've got this offer on. It's important to have a look to see what dinosaurs we need to buy to unlock the next thing. So, it, for instance, Spino. Um, yeah. Like, I can't put it in an incubator right now. Wait, do I... I'm not buying it every time. Damn it, I thought I was buying it every time. Why can't I buy it every time? Because my, my DNA is not going down. Ah! That's annoying. What if I just go into the DNA market and switch to that? Hopefully, I can just click on it this way and unlock it. Unless I already have it. Oh, I must already have Spinosaur. That's why it didn't allow me to buy any more. But it didn't tell me I already had Spinosaur. Okay. Oh, unless I just bought it there and didn't realize. So the next one is Raj, which I definitely do have. And I've got two of them. Damn it! I've got two of the buggers. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm only one off making a level 40 for that, so that's good. Badgersaw and more another level 40 Spino. Damn. Oh, oh, ow. Uh, more, the lake dwelling Hadrosaur had a large tail and paddle like arms to help it swim. Brilliant. So we've got to make a level 30 of this one. I need to buy two more. Let's see. 4,000? Yes. Okay, so I can buy as long as I don't have it like one. 7,000 for a level 30 is not bad. Especially if it's a tournament creature, it takes ages to speed up. Hold on. They're saying it can normally cost 80,000. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's annoying. That's what that is. So if I am in a pickle or a struggle and I need, you know, to get one of these, I can go in here and I can just spend 7,000 bucks. 
it's a bit annoying. And it looks like, you know, they're adding so many more tournament creature tournament creatures into the game, like Diablo Ceratops and all this jazz. However, they probably won't be tournament creatures now. They're gonna be these. I think that I think this is the new move from Ludian Jam City, is to put them in here, make you spend a lot of DNA. And they're forcing you to get the season pass. They're forcing you to get these incubators. Uh, where are they? Yeah, they're forcing you to get these. Because without the, the eight speed ups, without the four instant hatches, getting all of this within the allotted amount of time, and especially when there's multiples, like 16 days, Panther, 23 days, Bajadasaur, you're not gonna do it. You don't have time. But at the same time, I do like that they've added the incubators. I think this is a good thing they've done. It's expensive, but it's not as bad. You know, I if if they had 20 incubators, I probably would put all of them in. I, I would just fill them all up because and up until a point, maybe when it gets to about 300 bucks, it might not be worth it. <laughs> but that's my decision to make. You know, I, it, they're not forcing me to be able to spend bucks to get something. It's my decision whether I think right now I need to do that. So, and when... You put the, that, the onus on the player, you put the decision in their hands, that's when you're making a good choice. And that's important. Important to acknowledge this. Yes, they've taken books away from things, but at least they're, they're giving you other ways, other avenues. Don't take something away and don't give anything back. Give us another option. Anyway, guys, we'll be rambling. I apologize. Oh, did we do it? Oh, yeah, of course we did. Of course we did. I don't really care about the Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.